Jason, we have an early morning start here for the, in the player monitoring area. Can you talk us through what happens here uh, when the guys come down? Sure, yeah. Well, we're going through our, our morning monitoring protocol and um, we basically are looking for about 20 pieces of information off the players. And that's across four different sort of platforms. The first one would be some musculoskeletal markers. The second one then would be some wellbeing information. And then we uh, combine that with our training and game load or workloads. So what we do then is we combine all that information with the player's history of injury. Um, and that information is then put into a software program which is provided to us by a company called Kitman Labs and it's assessed in real time, statistically analysed and the information is fed back to us immediately and we get an indication as to whether a particular player or a number of players might be at risk of a performance, injury, a performance decrement or even, or even an injury. Okay, and can you talk us through now the various different uh, exercises? That sure, we well, we'll start with the musculoskeletal markers. The first one we'll do here will be their um, sit and reach test, which everybody would be fairly familiar with. And we're just looking at their range through their low back and uh, hamstrings. The second one here is a shoulder mobility one. Um, players again will just get uh, degrees of movement around their shoulder joint and they'll sit, dump that into the system. So the next one we would do would be the knee to wall assessment, which is just looking at ankle dorsiflexion and again range of movement through the calf and ankle. This one here is groin squeeze. Uh, again, it'd be uh, fairly well linked to issues around hip dysfunction. So we're just using a sphygmometer to to gather the, uh, to assess the pressure that a player can uh, squeeze in using his groins. So we'd also do a, a hip internal rotation assessment, um, and again, that's been quite well linked with issues of dysfunction around the hip. Um, so players will come in, measure their measure their hip uh, internal rotation, uh, and again, that, that 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 information is dumped into the system and spat back out to us if if there's an issue that's arisen. And this data is looked at in conjunction, as you said, with um, things like the GPS and their workload and their training load. So you get a, a whole picture of a player throughout a series. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's it's kind of sports science. So you're just looking at what we consider to be relevant bits of information, assessing whether or not the player may be at risk of a performance decrement, as I said, or even an injury risk, and then trying to come up with some sort of positive training intervention so that that issue doesn't become anything more serious. And what we would do at the end of this would be sit down with the medics, physios, and go through each player and decide what kind of action we want to take prior to them going out training for the day.